Hey guys, welcome to another lunchtime review. Today I'm going to try this Annie's Homegrown Mini Pizza Bagels. This one is the uncured pepperoni with tomato sauce and cheese on mini bagels. Uh, made with goodness, no artificial flavors or synthetic colors. 9 grams of protein per serving, no nitrates or nitrites. And made with whole grains. Um, this one is a 6.65 ounce or 189 gram meal. We bought it at Meyer. It was $3.49. Eh, not too awfully bad. So let's see. Um, calorie wise, four pieces is 210 calories, but if you eat the whole package, which is eight pieces, it's 450. I don't know, two times 210 is not 450, but whatever. Um, so there's the other information for you. Um, you can do this in a conventional oven if you'd like. There's the directions. You can also do it in a toaster oven if you like. Of course, we're not going to do that. We're going to do it in the microwave. So we're going to remove the crisping tray from the box and remove plastic wrap. Heat all nine bagels. Oh, there's nine bagels. It says two servings per container, about four pieces. Ah, okay. Anyway, um, nine bagels on the crisping tray on high for two minutes and 20 seconds or until fully cooked. Let's stand one minute. So you literally just cook it for the 220. That makes sense why it would be uh, 450 then if there's like nine pieces in the box. So we're going to unzip it. Unzip the pull tab like the pull tab. Ah, okay. Crisping tray. We're just going to basically just take the plastic off, um, leave them in this tray and microwave them for 220, and I'll be back. Okay, right, so here they are out of the microwave. And uh, let me see if I can unstick one. Eh, not too bad. And they're, they're not um, mushy, so that's good. Just got to make sure they're, they're not stuck at the bottom. So, yeah. So, I'm gonna, I'll am i probably get a fork and break these loose because I don't want them i burn myself. But anyway, I'll uh, break them up and take them over the table and uh, give them a try. All right, so I'm going to try one. Um, I'm going to get one. Looks like it has pretty much everything. I guess they're kind of like a bagel. They're, um, you know, bagels have a little bit of a chew to them. Uh, these don't have that texture. Let me bite. This one's a little softer in the center. There was a dead center. It's a little bit better, but not. It still doesn't have that chew of a typical bagel. Um, it has a little crust on the outside, but that's it. It really doesn't. It doesn't have the texture of a bagel. Let's put it that way. Um, overall, the flavor of the pepperoni I like because it's got a little bit, just a little bit of spice to it. Um, not enough to where to put you off if you don't like spicy food, but if you like pepperoni at all, you would you would like that level of spice. Um, so it has that. It's got a decent texture. The cheese is a little uh, gritty, and um, but the the toppings are okay. And the tomato sauce is is fine. I'm just not sure about the bagel part. Uh, let me try. Let me try this one on this other corner over here. Sometimes it's just easier to put the whole thing in your mouth. Um. Yeah, it, these are okay. Definitely not bad. If you're looking for. Um, organic flour tomatoes if you're really trying to uh, um, be organic then these are good the pepperoni is good the uh, the flavors of the cheese is fine like I said it's a little bit grainy not not bad but it's not like gritty like sand but it is does have a little bit of a texture to it um, the bagels themselves are okay it's more like just a pizza crust than a bagel like a chewy bagel but um, yeah, you know for microwave pizza bagel it's okay um it's not great but it's okay i'm gonna give it a three out of five definitely worth eating if it sounds interesting to you um you know there's nothing wrong with them so i hope you enjoy this video thanks for watching